Okay, so first you can see I had this white piece right here, this white orange connected, and then these two here, and this pink here, that's red for you guys. Um, so really to me this isn't a great cross, and I was running low on inspection time, so it was kind of more of a panic cross. So I solved this here, or put that there, um, solved this green white piece, placed this green or this orange white piece down, and then solved these last two with F prime, R prime, F prime. And then I saw these two right away. So I solved those. Then saw these two pieces right here. Solved those. And then for some reason, instead of doing these, I did these two right here. Actually, no, wait. I did do these two, sorry. So I did a Y2, did these, and then did these two. And then left uh, with anti soon and then a V-perm. Okay, so for this solve, uh, the first thing that I saw was this green-white piece and this uh, pink-white piece. Uh, so I knew if I put this over here, like this, I, and I put that down, I could solve these with a D. So that was the first thing I do, and I also knew that this would bring this blue white piece here. So I did that, set these up, put this piece, this blue white piece up, fixed my cross, R prime, and that this piece stayed here the whole time. I did a sledgehammer with that, and I tracked this pair while I did it. Um, did a U2, solved this pair, and then solved this pair, like that. And this one is just triple sexy move. And then that left these two, which gave me this OLO. And now I realize now that I could have skipped this case, but I didn't see that. Um, went into my OLO and then PLO. Okay, so for this one, this was a pretty easy solve. Um, I saw this right away, so I know that that's opposite, and I saw this one, which is also opposite. Um, so having opposite pieces like that is good, because I know if I solve this here, I can do a D2 to fix my cross. Um, and I also noticed these, and I was gonna do this cross different originally, but then I eventually saw this pair in the back, so I changed how I was gonna solve my cross. Um, so I did F to set these two up, U, R2 to put this down here, which still hasn't touched this pair, then UL2, which brings the pair up here. So I tracked that during my cross very easily. D2 to fix it. And now as I was doing this, I noticed these two. Um, and like, I mean, as like, as I was about to execute this pair, like I saw these two here and I knew this corner was gonna go down here. So I did that and I knew that I was gonna set up to this double sexy. So I did this, and at that point, the only thing I saw was this corner, and I didn't see the edge, so I kind of panicked a little bit. You'll see me pause in the solve. And I rotated, and I saw it, and then I kind of paused again, like I had no clue what to do, and I don't really know why that is. So I did that, and now you'd think I would have just done that, but part of the panic, I guess. I did it like this to set these two up, rotated, did that, which set these up nicely I guess so I did that and then OLLCP and then PLL so the last two slot was kind of panicky so Okay, so this was a pretty easy solve, as you could tell, because it was a six. Um, so I saw these two right here, so I knew this was good, because if I put this down, that means it's only a D away from being able to solve both, so that's really good. I also saw this orange piece, which means I could place both of these and be a D away from solving, and this green-white piece was here. So I mean, I could place this, set that up, do an R, F, R2, um, and then I could do a D to solve my cross, and while I did that, I was tracking this edge and this corner. Like, so while I was planning my cross, I was intentionally trying to track these. Um, so I saw them, went to solve those, and I saw this corner while I was doing that, and the edge right in front of it. So I turned here, did this, 
And while I did that, I saw this edge and that this corner had just gotten separated from it. So I rotated to do that, solved that. And then I rotated not knowing quite what to do. I saw this edge right away. And then I think I kind of just guessed or I might've noticed that this was white as I turned. So I did this. And then I saw this, a block right here. And I knew that I had a potential to get a peel off skip because of this block. I wasn't entirely sure if it would skip, but I knew that there was a potential for to skip. And then I did get a skip resulting in a six. So that was really good. Okay, so for this solve, um, I saw this opposite piece right here and this opposite piece right here. And now that I'm looking at this again, I realize I did this cross terribly. I pretty much did this whole solve terribly. Um, I placed this uh, uh, pink piece back here to make it opposite, like that. Um, and then R2, L, F. Um, which set up this pair right here. Um, I, I was tracking this during my inspection, but I, I ended up tracking it wrong, so I'll fix my cross. What I should have done is this to pair it up, but what I did is this, and as soon as I did that, I realized I messed up, and I just continued with it. I solved that pair, and then I kind of, at this point, didn't quite know what to do. I saw this corner right here. I just completely missed this, um, so I rotated. I saw the edge and then solved this. And then once again, I think I got a little lost, um, but I found this. So I did that, inserted, and then I had these two right here, solved those, just this OLL right here, and then a U perm. So the efficiency of that solve was pretty awful. Um, but you know, that's why I'm doing these walkthroughs this way is because it shows you a more real realistic way of you know what goes on when I solve it's the actual thought process of what I did in that solve whereas with the traditional walkthrough solves that everyone does it it's so slow that people can see a lot more than they normally would and they have more time to think about you know fancier ways they could solve it and I like this way because it's exactly what I did in the solve and I can tell you what I saw what I was thinking when I did it and whatnot whereas with everything else it's just kind of showing fancy tricks and I feel like it shows perfect solves that not everyone gets. So I kind of hope this, these walkthrough solves were helpful and kind of showed you, you know, that solves aren't perfect. Um, it, it is more difficult to, you know, do, I hope other people will try it, but it is pretty difficult to film and then reconstruct immediately. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you later.